I don't know if you can see it, but whenever I try to hit the piston down, it seems like it's ready to go in, but it's not. The oil rings pop out instead of going in. See? So next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the pistons in. I have my piston ring compressor. Um, yeah. You put the piston rings in here. So you put the piston in here, you clamp it down, and then you set it on top of your, sorry, your cylinder. You tap it in a little bit, and then you push the piston down into the bore. Um, try to watch out for your crankshaft and the little oil nozzle um, while you're putting it in. So first things first, I'm going to clean this really well with what's left of my brake cleaning. I already spent a huge amount of time cleaning this block. It's about as straight as I can get it, I think. All right. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil, come on, oil come out, in here. just to help the piston go in. So before we put the piston in, I'm just gonna double check um, that my rings are all set up. I'm gonna do the top and middle at 180 degrees from each other. And the lower ring about 120 degrees from each other. And that looks good. So now, we're going to gently set it in here. And then, you have to get the direction of the piston right. So the way you need to put the piston in is like this. The two intake valves if this is the front of the engine, two ink tape valves are on the bottom, two exhaust valves are on the top, and there's the part number there. So if, we're, if, if the timing chain is right here, so I'm gonna gently place this in. The crank has been turned so that um, it's facing downward. It's at the bottom of the stroke. Now, when you put the piston compressor in, you don't actually need to put it all the way down to here. You can use this, the piston skirts kind of as a guide to help you center your piston. Like that. Let's make sure this is tight. Yeah, and then we're going to gently tap the piston in. You should normally have somebody looking at the bottom. No, it's stuck. So what are we hitting on? So, 
as you can see that ring compressor is actually not doing so good it's actually getting the, the oil ring stuck now I can't get it out of there So again, this tool is just not working very well. I don't know if you can see it, but whenever I try to hit the piston down, it seems like it's ready to go in, but it's not. This slips past the oil rings pop out instead of going in. See? So, as I suspected, if you look here, you can kind of see the light through the piston, see? That's light shining through the tool. So the tool is not perfectly round, it kind of ovals a bit. So even though I've cinched this down, literally as tight as I can go, it's not fully sealing the ring there. I can see the ring sticking out there. So this tool is crap. I'll try and bend it a bit, but I think I'm just gonna have to order a different one. Yeah, it's oval this way. I can see the, the whole, the gap over here. Of course, on my fifth try, I finally get it in. What I did was I pushed really, really hard down on this and then I tapped it in. And voila, we have piston number one in. Everything still looks okay. Kind of nicked this little bit here, but that's on the cylinder wall, that's okay. It's at the top. That should be the right orientation, if I remember correctly. But yeah, piston number one is in. Now we gotta do the rest for all six. it's another day in the garage if you remember last time we were putting in the pistons having a little bit of trouble with the piston ring compressor thingy doodad that, that thing but um, kind of figured out a system so I'm going to keep uh, putting these pistons in now um, the process again is clean the bearings lube up the cylinder walls put a little bit of oil on the piston rings themselves shove them in here, uh, tighten this down, and tap the piston in without hitting the crankshaft. So, still haven't received the valve in the mail yet, so I may, once I'm done this, start to rebuild this, at least take it apart, clean everything, so that it's all ready to go. But yeah, let's, let's get started.
that completes the bottom end build of our M52. We checked the bearings, we checked the ring gap, we replaced the rings, we checked the pistons. We didn't check the crankshaft uh, uh, bearings because all the other bearings look good. So we just did uh, piston ring refresh, piston and bore refresh, you could say, because um, everything else looked good, luckily. So um, we're now going to, I wrapped it up to keep everything nice and clean because it's been so much time cleaning. Uh, we're gonna push this off to the side and we're gonna tackle our cylinder head, which we are still waiting on this valve. But that doesn't mean I can't get in here, take it apart, clean it up, and replace these valve stem seals, wherever that valve stem seal went. The bad one we took a look at, they're hard as a rock. So if you're interested in learning more about how to rebuild an M52 head with the Valvetronic thing, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.